Welcome to the Millbrook Railroad, and if you haven't been following the channel lately, I recently bought an entire railroad, and with it came this locomotive, the steam locomotive. It is a Scotty Mogul. Now, a Scotty Mogul was designed by Carl Purinton, the first secretary of the Brotherhood of Live Steamers, way back in the 1930s or 40s, somewhere around there. And uh, that later became the International Brotherhood of Live Steamers. And the plans for this locomotive are on the International Brotherhood of Live Steamers website, ibls.org. Now, this particular Scotty Mogul was built by Pershing Scott, the namesake of the Scotty Mogul, who, as legend has it, had a pallet of boilers sent over from England and had a machinist in Marblehead, Massachusetts make a bunch of chassis and put them all together and then sold them. Now, this one we have to do some boiler work on. There's a leaky tube and we have to assess it and see what's going on. Now, when you're dealing with a small locomotive, like this, it is important to check absolutely everything before you fire it up. And we took a look inside and, well, saw that it had an issue. Yes, leaky tube. Got to take care of that before you put any water in it and try to bring up pressure because you know, it's just going to leak out and the water just going to get hot and maybe spray out a little bit if you get any pressure at all. So we've got to take the firebox off and figure out how to fix the leaky tube in this thing. Now, unfortunately, the smoke box fought us all the way of coming off. There are a couple of screws that were broken off inside, so we had to drill those out. And now the part that's going to make many of you cringe. Hammering on a copper smoke box. Well, we did get it off. We were very careful about it. We didn't break anything or distort the firebox noticeably anyway. Looks like things will still go together well, but we sure did sacrifice a few pieces of wood. But eventually, with enough persistence, anything pays off, and we eventually got the firebox off with a little more persuasion. And after we get the smoke box off, the next thing we got to do is we have to just take a good look at the fire tube that's leaking. You can kind of see it, sort of. Well, here's a picture so you can see it better. And here's a look inside the firebox, and it's pretty clean, actually. For a 60-year-old locomotive, this is actually in pretty good shape. So I hope you enjoyed this look into the restoration process. Uh, for Osby Central Railway number 662. It's kind of a long process. If you'd like to help contribute to the restoration of this locomotive, you can go to patreon.com slash Millbrook Railroad. That's patreon.com slash Millbrook Railroad. I want to thank you for watching today's video and have yourself a great day.